Hi folks, I'm Dr. Ed Beyer, uh, making this video to announce that I'm going to be holding a very important workshop in my clinic in Tinley Park this next Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. The topic is going to be migraine headaches and female hormone imbalances. This is a chronic condition that is a neurological condition that traditional medicine has very few answers for. They're going to look at your symptoms and give you different medications. At the workshop, I'll be discussing all the underlying causes to migraine headaches and female hormone imbalances and what one can do to learn more about that and take and manage this problem. I'm also going to share, share a case study of an actual patient, her name is Tanya, who came in to see me a few years ago and I just saw her recently a couple days ago for a routine visit uh, and she mentioned that she uh, had been headache free for two years. Well, here's her story. Tanya, uh, you've been, we've known each other for a couple years now, right? Yep. Uh, tell us about your migraine headaches you had when you first came in to see us. So my, um, you know, original reason for coming in here was because uh, I had struggled with migraines my entire life as a kid. Uh, I had done everything that you you do when you go through traditional medicine, uh, neurologist, giving myself shots, all kinds of preventative medicine, in and out of ER, uh, basically my entire life. And the last migraine that I had was pretty uh, debilitating, and so... Um, you know, pretty fed up with the fact that I didn't have any answers from like the traditional medical community. I started to look into more functional medicine and sort of that's what, you know, led me to you. Okay. And then um, we, we identified some underlying problems, food sensitivities. You had a genetic mutation and uh, you weren't able to make certain neurotransmitters in the brain. How are your headaches today compared to when we first started? How has it changed your life? Uh, drastically changed my life so uh, for the first you know I'm 41 years old and for you know January it'll be two years that I've had a single uh, headache not a single dull headache definitely not a migraine um, and for me that's a huge accomplishment and, and you shared with that with me earlier today because you're coming in today we're checking on your thyroid yeah we're but checking I, on I have, all kinds of other things I, know, right? I, I forgot that it's been two years it'll be two years in January headache free single headache none yeah. Wow Wow yeah. And then you feel like we got to the underlying causes and you know how to prevent that from... We did, and, and that was really exciting for me because we did a bunch of tests to get to the root cause. For me, I think it ended up being more of a food thing, which mm -hmm. I would have never thought in my life that food was a trigger for my uh, headaches, but for me it was. Right. And once I started to uncover that, uh, it led to a whole bunch of other issues, I realized. Then I think um, you know we learned that I had Hashimoto's and a whole host of other things. Uh, which we've been working on, um, yeah. but that was really the you know the what reason for me here. coming right. in. Okay, great, thank you. You're welcome. Now with Tanya, we were able to identify all the underlying causes. She had multiple gut infections. She had food sensitivities. She had an autoimmune condition against her thyroid. So she had some hormone imbalances. Once we identified and addressed and eradicated those underlying causes, we well, saw the results. If you want to know more about migraine headaches and female hormone imbalances, and more importantly, what you can do about it that your doctor is not giving you answers for, I highly recommend that you come to the seminar. I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. Hope to see you there.